So the line I originally wanted to do, I was never able to actually pull off. I uh, still had a good chance to practice uh, a new technique and give it a try. It's something I haven't really practiced much at all, so that was fun. And it also gave me a chance to practice some other techniques and uh, just work on refining some other things. So, to start off, uh, I worked a little bit more on my punch technique. Uh, still has a long way to go. Kind of cool though, you can see the rear tire really doing its job, biting into that log and grabbing pretty good. Uh, so here's some of that. So you can see here in the freeze frame, I'm still hitting a little bit too high. And I'm also not stopping as much as I need to to really get everything loaded good and then pop. But I'm still getting more upward travel. Both the front end is a little higher and then I, I, the whole bike is traveling more upward instead of just straight forward and so it meant for a smooth transition onto the log it rolled up and over the log really easy instead of feeling the rear tire kind of hit and try to throw you down so that was really nice and I think a bit of a forward progress so with my original line like I said I wasn't able to really pull off what I wanted to despite trying uh, but it did lead to a lot of good chances to work on pressing the front tire into the log and doing some balance work uh, as well as doing some somewhat kind of static zap or punch technique uh, depending on where you're from. Uh, I wasn't really trying to jump the rear tire all the way onto the log and hold pressure over it as much as I was just trying to uh, get the bash plate to get on top of the log and then finish off by rocking over. At my level that's a much more practical skill than getting up on the rear tire trying to hold pressure and then hop off slowly I think. So that's what I was working for and so that's kind of what you'll see here. So my original line had me coming over the log here at this angle. Now it's kind of trenched out inside and it's rotting away so it's real loose and slippery and you never know if the tire is going to bite in or if you're going to lose traction. Also going over that trench it's super wet and slippery and slimy. So here's what happens there. You can see the rear tire just slide around, throws my whole body off balance. But it's good because things don't always go right so it's good to get your body prepared. So my idea was to land, come around the corner here a little bit and then do what would be, uh, I guess, a flick turn onto the log. Now, I've only practiced a flick turn, like, I don't know, maybe 30 times total, and certainly not, like, with an obstacle in front of me. And so, I mean, it's an unrealistic goal to expect to get it right. Yeah, definitely. But it was just something that was like, eh, you know, let's try it, because why not? you got to start somewhere. So that's kind of what this is. Here's an example in slow-mo. Now, I am too close to the log at least for my current ability to control the bike and I end up I, I, I get actually what for me I think is fairly good lift out of the bike but you see I'm too high onto the log and I just cannot hold my balance that high up on the log also I actually kind of over rotated the rear some here's a few more attempts a little lower but same idea a little bit lower on the log, but still high. So I came back a couple days later. It, it rained all night the night before. It had already been really hot, and now tonight it's went to oppressively, almost dangerously hot and humid. Uh, so I only tried a few times. Some storm clouds have rolled back in and made it really dark in the back of the woods, so I'm sorry for the poor video quality. You can see I'm making an effort to try to place the front tire a little lower, not really fling the rear end around quite as much, uh, and just try to get a little bit better balance. So I can see I was holding my balance a little longer, still got a ways to go to get it right, but I do feel like there was some slight improvement as far as getting the tire to hit a little lower and being able to hold my balance a little bit longer. So uh, finishing up again here, you'll see another one of those static punches where I'm just kind of getting up on the bash plate and rocking over the rest of the way. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I guess after uh, the first day, after I couldn't get the flick turn, I decided I'd just do a little float over the log, just so I could see, like, well, I kind of cleaned the line. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was fun working on something new. Sure, I wish I could have cleaned it. Uh, it would have been great to have that success, but, you know, I still don't really see this as a failure, um, because it was a great learning opportunity, great chance to try something new, to start working on some new muscle memory, and keep progressing forward. So yeah, that's about it. Catch you later.